When I was growing up, my parents would just say, girls load and unload the dishwasher. That was it, no real instruction. We kind of knew where things had to go and we had to figure everything else out ourselves. But when it comes to the dishwasher, there's a lot to know, a lot about how to properly use it, how to properly load it, what detergents to use, what's a rinse aid. There's so much to know. So in this video, let's call it Dishwasher 101. We're gonna break down the dishwasher for you and go through absolutely everything you need to know to maximize the way that you use your dishwasher. And just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel and give this video a thumbs up if your way of loading the dishwasher is always the right way. Dishwashers generally come equipped with two racks, top and bottom. We're gonna start with the top. Now, obviously you have pretty shallow clearance on that top rack and your dishwasher may or may not have a spinning arm at the top. That's a good thing for you to know because anything that goes into the dishwasher, you always wanna make sure that your highest item isn't hitting or obstructing the little water arm from spinning around. So that's tip number one. Now what goes on the top rack? Glasses or cups, small bowls, utensils, dishwasher safe plastic, and any utility bags or baskets that you might have to go in the dishwasher. Now let's talk about overcrowding because it can be really tempting to just throw everything on your counter into the dishwasher, close it, kind of walk away. It doesn't always work that way. If things are overcrowded, this goes for top or bottom. Water doesn't have the ability to hit everything where it's needed to be hit, meaning when your items come out of the dishwasher, they're not going to have washed or rinsed clean. So you're actually gonna be pulling out things that are dirty that might need to be rewashed again. So make sure everything's got space to breathe and get cleaned. Next up, the bottom rack of the dishwasher. And let's just talk about how the inner workings of a dishwasher works. You've got these spinning arms, these jets that kind of shoot out water during the cleaning process. And at least in my dishwasher, there's a jet on the bottom of the top rack. So that's designed to kind of bear down. And then there's a jet on the bottom of the dishwasher that shoots up. So when you're loading up the bottom rack of your dishwasher, you always wanna make sure that that spinning jet on the bottom of the top rack has enough clearance so that it can do its full rotation without being interrupted. Really important to keep that in mind. So what goes in the bottom rack? Things like pots and pans, as long as they're dishwasher safe, and plates. That's pretty much what you're putting down there. Uh, now let's talk about how to load the dishwasher up properly on the bottom rack. Pots and pans should always be placed face down or bottoms up. The next thing is with plates, you always wanna stagger them. So don't put all of your big plates over here and your small plates here in sections. Rather mix them up because that actually allows for more water flow and it gets your dishes cleaner. Another thing you can try is to face all of your dishes into the center. So the way that we do it is we kind of load half up facing the middle point and then the other half facing the middle point. This prevents kind of food from flipping off to the side and getting stuck there and it really concentrates the cleaning power of the jets. So just do it. It's a small change, takes one second and it makes a big difference. Different manufacturers recommend different things when it comes to pre-rinsing or scraping off your dishes before loading them up into the dishwasher. So it's always important to check with your actual dishwasher manufacturer to see what is recommended because different dishwashers apparently can handle different things. Now in my opinion and experience, I'll tell you my thoughts, okay? I used to be the guy that would just kind of throw the dishes in the dishwasher and not care. And I found that my dishes wouldn't come out as clean on an ongoing basis, meaning my filter would get clogged with more food and then I would notice buildup over time. Gross, more cleaning work for me. Whereas once I started rinsing my dishes off or wiping or scraping them, which is more often than not what we do, we just kind of do a quick scrape into the compost bin um, and get like all of those big chunks off. So it's just like maybe smears from sauces left behind we get much better results with the dishwasher. So let me know in the comments down below. Are you someone who kind of like pre-cleans and scrapes or are you just like whatever and you let the dishwasher handle it, you throw things in there and deal with the mess? Depending on where you are in the world, you might call it cutlery or you might call it silverware, but we all know what we're talking about. So let's cover off that cutlery there. I've made mine obvious. 
cutlery basket. So when you're loading up the dishwasher and you've got your cutlery going in, here's what you wanna consider. Any small sharp knives, like paring knives, you wanna face those down. Any other cutlery you can have facing up. I mean, if you wanna put your other knives facing down, that's fine. But the idea with facing them up is that they'll get a lot of exposure to water so they can get cleaner faster. The other important tip is to mix them up so that you avoid nesting because if you have all of your forks together and all of your spoons together, they're going to spoon and they're not gonna get clean. So mix everything up when you're loading them up. Now, when you look at your cutlery basket, you might notice, depending on its configuration, that it has kind of like a flap or a lid. Mine doesn't have that, but my old one did. The purpose of that little lid is to keep little bits and parts in there that might otherwise fly around. On the topic of loading the dishwasher, we should also talk about the things you shouldn't load in the dishwasher. And we'll start things off with chef's knives or big kitchen knives. Now these should not go into the dishwasher top rack or bottom rack for a few reasons. First of all, if the knife has a wood handle, wood does not work well in the dishwasher. So right there, not a good idea. Second, the blade of the knife can either touch other things and ruin those other things in the dishwasher, or because of all the vibrations that happen during the dishwashing process, it can actually dull or warp the knife ever so slightly. You won't see it, but over time, you'll notice that you're not able to cut things the way that you used to be. And finally, this was something that my mom used to warn us about all the time. If you put your dishwasher face, uh, your knife face down on the top rack of a dishwasher, the knife can actually cut through the coating on the wire rack, you know, the top rack, eventually exposing metal, leading to rust, which is something that you do not want. So all in all, just don't put your knife in the dishwasher. Anything that's brass, bronze, or gold plated, you wanna keep out of the dishwasher. And in fact, I would even take it a step further and I would say anything that's pewter or maybe even silver, I, even if you can put it in the dishwasher, it's just better to hand wash that stuff. It lasts longer, it looks better. And for things like brass and bronze, you know, if you have these really great Moscow Mule mugs and you're done and you just chuck them in the dishwasher, they will get ruined and they will not be revivable. So just keep that in mind. Wood utensils and cutting boards also do not belong in the dishwasher. Because wood is naturally porous, it can absorb water over time. It actually, it will absorb water. And if you put it through a cycle of the dishwasher, you'll notice the wood immediately starts to warp, expand. It loses its shape. It becomes exposed. It's tougher to touch. It cracks, all kinds of problems. At the end of the day, what you're supposed to do is just give them a quick wipe with soapy water and maintain them using a cutting board oil. And cookware is something to be mindful of as well. Cast iron never goes in the dishwasher. And even non-stick pots and pans, even though some people think they're dishwasher safe, the manufacturer might think otherwise. So just make sure that you check with the manufacturer. You can go on the website or check the bottom of the pan. It might actually tell you right there if it's dishwasher safe or not. Wine glasses might seem harmless enough, but especially stemmed wine glasses or champagne flutes or coupes or anything that you might drink a cocktail out of with a stem really, truly should not go in the dishwasher. It's just opening yourself up to the possibility of a break. Broken glass in the dishwasher is a pain to clean, so why would you even put yourself through that? Plus, even if you were to wash it in the dishwasher successfully, when you take those glasses out and hold them up to light, you can see a lot of that spider webbing or those micro scratches. So really and truly, whether it's inexpensive glass or expensive crystal, just keep your stemware out of the dishwasher. It's also good practice to keep pottery out of the dishwasher. Some of it's durable, but why risk it, especially if you really love the piece? The same goes for anything that's been painted or glazed, anything that's acrylic or glued, because glue, heat, melt, problem. Now that we have a good general idea of the do's and don'ts of loading up the dishwasher, let's talk about some of the things, some of the more unexpected things that you can put into the dishwasher. Cleaning tools like buckets, cleaning brushes, range hood filters, sink strainers, squeegees, dustpans, teething rings, kids' toys that don't have batteries, microwave turntables, silicone trivets and mats, and of course, dishwasher safe vases. 
When it comes to choosing detergent for your dishwasher, you have a few different options. You've got powder, liquid, and pods. Full disclosure, we have been using pods for years. And further full disclosure, I wish there was an eco-friendly dishwashing detergent option that worked really well. We have tested lots and lots and lots of them. We have not found any that work as well as the regular brands out there, which is why we use Cascade. This is not sponsored by them, but I know you guys are gonna ask, so I might as well just come out and tell you, and I'll link the one we use for you down below. That said, if there is a really great option or one that's more eco, more responsible, I'd love to use it and try it and see how it works. So now that we have that out of the way, next up, you wanna consider how much detergent you're using. So if you're not using a pod, which is one of the reasons why we actually switched, it's just easier, you have to make sure that you're measuring out the right amount of liquid or powder detergent. Because if you use too much, just like the washing machine, it's gonna leave residue behind, it's gonna get scummy in there, and if you don't use enough, you're not gonna get the clean that you need. The other thing to keep in mind with powders and liquids is they can get a little bit messy, so you wanna make sure that you're keeping everything clean when you're dosing it out. Rinse agent is another consideration. Now, pods come with this preloaded, but if you're not using a pod, you can actually buy some dishwasher rinse aid and you can load it up into your dishwasher. It's generally a little door right beside where your detergent goes. And the reason that's important is because it helps to prevent those watermarks when your dishwasher is going through the drying process. As the saying goes, everything is fine until it's not. And the same thing goes with your dishwasher. When you're pulling out dishes and they're no longer clean after you've run a load through, it's telling you one of a few things. We've already talked about a lot of them, but one of the things it could be telling you is that your dishwasher actually needs to be cleaned. I mentioned this earlier, they are not self-cleaning devices. You've got to actually maintain them as well. So uh, there are a few different ways that you can tackle this. And I will say we have a full video on how to clean your dishwasher, so I'm not going to get into all the details. I will link that for you down below. But a, a few things to keep in mind. First of all, you wanna make sure that filter is clean. The filter lives at the bottom of your dishwasher. It usually twists off. Your manufacturer's instructions will teach you exactly how to remove it. It's way less intimidating than it sounds. And in the video, I demo exactly how to do it. So check it out. Next up, you can run through a cleaning load, which means there's nothing in the dishwasher and you're either using a tablet or some vinegar to clean your dishwasher. But again, the video is gonna explain exactly how to do that. I would recommend maintaining your dishwasher about four times a year, once a season, depending on how frequently you use it. If you're someone who runs it through twice a day, you might wanna do it more. If you're someone who runs it through maybe once every other day, you can probably get away with twice a year. So now you have irrefutable evidence that the way you load the dishwasher is the right way because I said so. There, stick that in your back pocket. And that leads me to this week's comment question, which is this. What is that one controversial thing that you put in the dishwasher that you know you're walking the line, but you do it anyway? I mean, there's not a lot of controversy in cleaning, but this has to be an area where we can find some controversy. So let me know yours in the comments down below. For me, it's wine glasses. I shouldn't be admitting that, but it's true. I mean, especially after a glass of wine, you know what Melissa Maker doesn't wanna do? I don't wanna be hand washing a wine glass. So it ends up in the dishwasher. We've had a few casualties. That's why I know how hard it is to clean glass out of a dishwasher, but. If you wanna start your journey to a cleaner life, you can follow along on Instagram. We're at Clean My Space, and our microfiber cloths company is at makers.clean. I'm at Melissa Maker and Chad is at the Chad Reynolds. Now here is that how to clean your dishwasher video that I was mentioning earlier. Go check it out, it's important. And it's fairly simple to do. This walks you through how to do it. If you haven't done so already, make sure that you subscribe to the Clean My Space channel. And I'm gonna try this. I dislocated my shoulder last week. But thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>